In this video, we're going to be looking at the item sales history by customer list in Sage 50. Um, a good thing about the item sales history by customer is that it will show you sales of all items, not just your stock items. So service items, uh, la labor, and non-stock all show up on this list, unlike your typical inventory reports. Um, and once you're in the list here, you can click on any of the column headings to sort by those columns. Um, you can click the settings button up here to add or remove columns. Um, so you can put the last unit cost or um, maybe we'll put sales rep in here. And it does warn you any of these that have an asterisk next to them may uh, slow down the list. And you can um, you can use the move up, move down buttons to rearrange the items in your list too. Or you can reset defaults if you want to go back to the original. You can also limit the list up here um, to a specific item if you want. Or you can go back to show all. And then depending on what columns you have displayed, you can use the search button here to search on a specific item. And really, it says search. I think of it more like a filter because it it actually changes what displays in the list. It doesn't just uh, jump you to that item in the list. And of course, we can clear that. Now, because this is a list and not a regular report, you don't get totals and subtotals on here. But any uh, any list can be sent to Excel. So if we click on Send to Excel, we'll do a new workbook, and we'll turn on the Auto Filter option too. So we can click OK. And there's our report. And so now you could sort it by whatever you want. You could use all the sales filtering. So let's take this report and Let's go and sort this by sales rep. Now I've got it sorted by sales rep. And um, you know, from there, of course, you could, if you want to look at a specific sales rep, you, know, you could filter it by that. We'll clear our filters. And, or you could also filter by, by multiple columns. And, and you can even take advantage of you know, various ways that Excel can filter. You can filter for a word. You can see just the gas-powered items there. And so let's turn off our filtering. And now, if we want to get put some subtotals in here, we could go to our data and subtotal. And now that we're sorted by sales rep, we can say at each change in sales rep, we want to use the sum function on the quantity. And now we would know the total quantity sold by sales rep. Okay, so let's go back to Sage 50 and let's show you the different ways you can get to this list. What I've got up here is the standalone list, and I got to that by going to the list menu, down to inventory and services, and then item sales history by customer. But there are a couple other ways you can get to this list also. Um, first of all, if on the customers and sales, you can go to the customer management tab. And we're going to say customize this page. And now we see item sales history. We can add that to our list. It will just leave it down at the bottom, but we could use the move up, move up, uh, down buttons to rearrange it. We'll click OK. And first, we'll select the customer. Since we're in the customer management, we have to select the customer first in order to get some data on here. And then we'll scroll down to the bottom. And here is our item sales history. And again, same thing as before. You could click on a column heading to resort. And you can 
go to customize and then settings to add or remove columns and you can choose a date range here you can limit it to a specific item or you can use the advanced search to search or filter by any of your columns in addition to that if you're using Sage 50 quantum accounting then you'll have this dashboard feature so on my dashboard you can click customize this page and we can add item sales history by customer to the dashboard and once again you'll have all the options that you did um, you know in the other place that you can get to it now from the dashboard here you're looking at the whole company you're not limited to one customer like you are on the customer management center um, but once again you can uh, select a particular item or you can show all you can customize the settings to add and remove columns and you can choose a date range and use the advanced search to search on whatever columns you have selected so that's the item sales history list by customer again it's really useful because it reports on all your sales not just your stock items